hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Zani Mozani if you're new here if you are a giant subscriber thank you for coming back yeah it means a lot the fact that you've come to see my content again or to view my videos again and enjoy and so it's the christmas season and i know everyone is really really excited because it's christmas time it's family time and everything so i'm going to start this video by wishing you a merry christmas from me to you <laughs> to each and every one of you so today is christmas day by the way i'm shooting this video on christmas day and i'm home alone by the way i'm home alone my mom is not around yeah so yeah merry christmas to each and every one of you but i'm on theme nana kiss me under the mistletoe it's my mom's sweatshirt and i've worn it to feel like a little bit christmasy and to feel the vibe of christmas but it's not christmas for me it's just a normal day for me but the christmas day is not it's never a big deal for me but i hope ne next year in years to come i'm going to see it as a big deal but it's never a big deal for me like it's just a normal day like any other but it's jesus birthday don't forget that <laughs> and yeah sending love and light to the people who are alone during this time the people who have their families yeah enjoy your time if you're having a bad christmas just know there's only the next time yeah so yeah yeah so anyway um th this is going to be like a video of me reflecting on my 2022 journey and honestly it hasn't been easy and it has been so 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 fun i've made a lot of accomplishments i've done a lot of things that i had set to do on 2022 and years before and i hope by the way meanza kuandika like resolutions are 2023 i hope because me i started writing my resolutions in 20 I think 2019 don't learn because until high school you to normal unaandika tu hapo every semester unaandika every time unaandika unaandika but there's nothing you're doing yeah but nilianza ku take it seriously like 2019 don't learn to like my resolutions vizuri and it has been grow it has been growth by the way if i write the resolutions i usually look at what i've written and what i want to achieve by the end of the year and it drives me to work towards it yeah so this is not going to be like a really really long video i hope it's not going to be a, but it's going to be a really long video by the way and i hope you guys are going to enjoy as i reflect on my 2022 and i share my experience and my lessons to you guys yeah so um on reflecting on 2022 this, i'm going to start with the highs and then the lows and then i'll mention like five things five things to live in 2022 yeah so that's the only so there are three segments in this video so i'm going to start with the highs of course because why not yeah so i think my first high is i've been healthy the whole year but yeah i've been healthy the whole year like i, I haven't had like really really bad sicknesses gender hosi because that is apart from Homa, tumbo, like, bitu too normal. PMS, like, is only bitu normal. But, ati, niseme, like, nimeenda husi, nimeenda zwa. No, it hasn't happened this year. And I'm really grateful to God that health, health has been one of my highs this year. Um, the next high is starting my YouTube channel. Yeah, you guys know that. You know that. Just let me explain. Like, manajua, like, it's one of my highs. Like, I really, I'm really excited about it. Because this year, like, manajua, tunya na nifula, kwa zile, like, ah! No need every time YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, I have to, I have to market myself. I have to show you. Lazima ni put it on your faces. And what I've learned while starting my YouTube channel is that you are responsible for your own journey. Like, you should not expect someone else to push you towards doing what you are. Your journey, like, you know your journey. You're the one who's creating your journey. There's no way you're going to expect someone else to come and guide you and tell you like what to do. It's your responsibility. Like if you have a YouTube channel, like it's a responsibility to create content, to edit, to post it, to share it, to repost, to to put it on Facebook, to put it on WhatsApp. Like it's a responsibility. It's so broad because it goes up to businesses. If you have a business, like it's your business to it's your responsibility to market your business, to go shopping and maybe come and ukwanango zamitumba, like thrifted. It's your responsibility to go buy on go kuzi market kuzi osha kuzi like it's a responsibility it's your own journey you're responsible for your own journey and yeah and i think that i've learned while starting my youtube channel is you are your biggest supporter like if you don't support yourself like there's no one who's coming to save you like you have to support yourself you're saving yourself like it is your responsibility like wewe mwenyewe 
Useme uu, unataka like your friends to do this for you. You want like you to do your mother, your father to do this. To, like it is your responsibility and that's on period. Yeah, you ni mimaliza kuongea. The second high is doing maximum hours at school. Yeah, maybe I've tried. I've tried. Shule. Shule na nchokesha by the way. Shule na nchokesha but I've really tried to do like maximum hours. Maximum hours for our school is 18 hours per semester. And I've really tried. I've tried. I've tried. I've tried. I've tried. And the fact that I'm about to finish school. I am so 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 excited about that. Yeah. Like my finishing school. Yeah. That's one of my highs. Like doing maximum hours. Sorry. Is one of my highs this year. Another um, high is getting a new phone. Yeah, I got a new phone this year. Nilikuwa nimeandika last year like I want a new phone but I didn't I wasn't able to get it. I wanted an iPhone X. Yeah, but I wasn't able to get it. I got an iPhone 11 this year and it was a win for me. Yeah, I was so excited by the way. I was so excited to have that phone. To have this phone, not that phone. It's this one that I'm using right now. Yeah. The fact that I got a new phone, it was a high for me. Yeah, another high for me is I think being intentional with my current relationships with my family, with my mom, with my friends, with my romantic life, like it has been such a journey, like being intentional, like you knowing what you are doing, like you knowing if you're an enab enabler of some of the things that are happening, like making that effort, like eh, it has been a journey, like this year I've learned a lot, like I've learned a lot, I've and I can't say that I've learned everything. Like I'm on the journey of learning and learning some things that I usually I used to do that are not okay to do. Like I've been able to to learn to say sorry because sometimes I can be a headache. I know I can be a headache. I've learned how to say sorry. I've learned how to say I don't know. Yeah, and I've learned how to acknowledge when to say no to things. Like I can say no. Like no, I can't. I don't want. No, I am not coming. I've learned like a lot of things this year and yeah it's been intentional in my journey like been intentional to meet some of the people that I've known for the for many many years and I haven't met in the past three four years like this year I've met a lot a lot of new people I've been intentional like child this year in my journey and I've loved it and every moment of it yeah so another high for me was networking Wow, yeah, networking. Like, I've met a lot, a lot of people. I've met new people. I've met old people that I've known, like, from high school. Like, people I've known from uni, like, uko mwanzo mwanzo, watu wa prima. Like, nipata na watu ingi sana bethi this year. And nipata na watu ingi wenye wanani motivate ingi, wenye naunanga social media. Yeah, I've met a lot of people. Like, it has been such a good year for networking. I've networked and... I've loved each and every moment of meeting new people. Yeah. So the next one is my birthday. It has been a high for me, like honestly. But I'm gonna really enjoy really enjoy Sana. Like it was I was turning twenty three and it was such an intimate moment for me and my friends and people like those people who are close to me. If you've not watched that video, I'm going to link it here. It's I vlogged on that day. Yeah, as in it was such a good moment. It was such a chilled moment, intentional moment, like intimate moment with my friends. Yeah, I really enjoyed each and every part of my birthday this year. It was, it was a high. It was a high for me. And another high for me, of course, it has to be the girls' trip. Like the fact that me and my friends, we went to coast together. Like we planned, we went, we enjoyed. Like. It was such a high, like it was a really, 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 really happy moment for me and my friends. And the fact that I love traveling, like it was so nice, like traveling with people that you love and people that you have been really organizing to do this thing and you have not done it yet. The fact that we did it, it was so, 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 so fun. Like, it took me back. Me, I just want to travel and travel. 2023, I want to travel, to travel, to travel, to travel and travel and travel. Yeah, like, wow. It was such a nice moment. If you have not watched it, I vlogged about it, so you can just check it out on my vlogs on coast trip with my girls. Girls trip, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to link it here again. Yeah. So yeah, those are those are my highs. Okay, I, I don't think I've written everything, but yeah, these are, those are these are the highlights of my highs. Yeah.
is the second segment it's about the laws so i was talking about the laws of this year and in every high there's a law like there's always have to be like the other side of the story and these are the laws of 2022 as i reflect on 2022 and the first one is not saving i've not saved money what 2022 i've used money used money used money yeah I think 22 was was like the moment of me using money, investing in this, buying this, buying this, buying this, going to this place, going to this place. Like, I haven't saved money, and it's okay because sometimes, like, once you use money, the more money comes to you. And yeah, this year I'm going to, this year I'm going to save like 23. I'm going to save like definitely saving. Yeah, in case of rainy days, like I have the money, I have, like I have something I have to save. Like this year, one of the resolutions I have for this year is saving because yeah like not saving money in 2022 like is one of my rules yeah the second law is that is the fact that it's not easy to unlearn a lot of toxic things that i've normalized um so this year like i've really reflected on myself like i've reflected on who i am who i want to be like like what i do like is it okay to do this is it okay not to do this like i've really learned a lot because there are some things i've really 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 normalized in my life and to a fact that i'm so arrogant about it i feel like it's the way but it's not the way so like this year this year like one of the laws is the fact that i had to unlearn some of the toxic things that i do in quotes toxic in quotes like yeah i've ha- i've had to unlearn some of the things that i have normalized in my life yeah so the journey of unlearning it's it's hard it's hard it's hard it's hard it's hard and i've really tried to give grace where it's due and it hasn't been easy because i've learned i have to give grace where it's due to myself to my loved ones to my friends to my family like like you have to like to my mom like i have to give grace like where it's due because it hasn't been easy like unlearning toxic things that you have normalized in your life yeah so like some of the toxic things that have normalized in my life i'm just going to mention one it's impatience i am quite impatient and this year like next year i just want to be patient like to be patient like it it, it doesn't have to go that way like i can be patient i can just be patient like more than be patient (laughs) it's so hard but yeah that's one of the things that i really want to do like in 2023 like and learn a lot of toxic things that have normalized in my life and yeah so that's one of my laws um the next thing is things not going as i always want yeah so like honestly speaking sometimes like you know like you think that your way is the right way yeah that's one of the laws like there's ups and downs like you have to like you have to know like there's ups and downs like there's those times you're correct there's those times you're not correct there's those times that you have to give grace there's those times like <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot yeah but i've learned that it's okay for things not to go your way yeah and i think like everything that i'm saying like there are lessons like i i don't think that i'm going to talk about the lessons i'm just going to highlight one lesson yeah so yeah those are the laws for 2022 as i reflect on 2022 those are the laws yeah and so i was to mention five things that you need to live in 2022 so i think the first one is accepting the bare minimum like it's okay to have standards it's okay to know your standards there's no need of you belittling yourself because of another person yeah it's okay to have your standards you don't have to belittle yourself because of another person yeah it's okay uh, yeah some things are bare minimum you don't have to clap for someone because of doing some things like they are the bare minimum honestly and once you realize that they are the bare minimum like you're going to go far baby girl you are going to go far yeah so the next one is the next the second one is saying yes when you really mean no you need to leave that if it's a no it's a no like i think i'm one of the people that i am good at saying no like it's never it's never like too hard for me to say no it's not hard for me to say no but there's there's those instances that kuna zile instances kuna zile instances you really you you need to say no but you're not saying no and you don't know why second one is not listening to your gut intuition like your gut like trust your gut my dear as in if 
you feel like this is not the place to go don't go if you feel like this place is kinda not okay like just leave if you feel like the vibe there is not okay just leave like there's always like a way out by leaving trust your intuition and leave next one is making excuses for not pushing yourself you're not going to do it tomorrow you're going to do it today yeah so making excuses every time like you need to do something today and then you're saying no i'm not going to do it today because it's raining i'm not going to do it today because i just don't feel like it like oof, a big girl like you really have to stand up and do it today not tomorrow because once you say you're going to do it tomorrow that's going to be procrastination and you're going to be procrastinating every single time and it's not even healthy for you for your journey for you for yourself and everyone like around you so yeah i think that's the end of the things that i have learned in 2022 and i'm going to highlight only one thing like you are responsible for your own journey like you are responsible for your own journey you should not be blaming anyone else you cannot be blaming your parents you cannot be blaming your friends your family like you cannot be blaming them you have the responsibility to change your story to change the narrative like you are the writer you are the author of your story like you can change it if you take responsibility yeah so i think this is the end of the video if you've liked it please like share subscribe and one of the things that i am um, promising you guys like next year is consistency and that's my word of next year like my word of next year is consistency and planning and consistency like those are the two words that i am going with next year so yeah so i'm going to be planning and be consistent with my post because yeah there's sometimes see jacqua nikki post my kwaniki post maybe once in um once in two weeks like twice in a month there's there's a month in to post anything but i think i've really tried with the consistency thing and i hope that next day it's going to be even more consistent and i'm going to be doing more vlogs um yeah so this is the end of the video if you've liked it please share subscribe and hit the subscribe button here hopper <laughs> bye